So we're going to begin with how to register for our sales. So once you come through the link, you're going to log in. We're going to show you how to use your Facebook login. Okay, so I'm going to click the login with Facebook. And that's going to use my credentials. And you're going to come to this screen. So your email should automatically populate from your Facebook information. You want to make sure that you have this enabled so that you can receive our emails. Uh, your name should also be there automatically populated. And then you want to include your phone number. And once we've done all that, then we're going to want to click the confirm button. Okay, so now our contact information has been updated. And what we want to do is look on the account tab right here. Okay, and it's going to give us a drop down menu. And then we want to connect our Facebook Messenger. Okay, so we want to do this because this is where you're going to receive your invoices and updates on your order. So we'll click there. It'll take me to Messenger. And then you'll get a message that looks like this. Welcome shopper, thanks for connecting, etc. Then we want to go back. So once we're back on the account page, Okay, now we'll see that it says disconnect messenger and we want to leave it just like that. Now, if you still see a button or a link right here that says get started, you want to make sure that you also click that. That will confirm your account and then completely connect it to your Facebook. And that is going to be extremely important, especially for shopping in our live sales. Okay, so now we're going to look at how to shop our posts in the group. So this is just a test group. This is not our actual group. So I'm using this as a demonstration. So this is an example of what a post will look like. Now in there, it'll show you an example of what your comment should be in order to claim. So this one says, if I want to order two sets of this set of buckles, right? There's a set of 20 pieces. Each set you'll see here gives you the price. It's $2. Here's the size and the color. Okay, so all the information is there. So if you have never registered before, where you're going to go is here, and then it'll take you through all those things that we just did in uh, the video previously to uh, register your account. If you're not registered, then your claims that you comment will not, um, will not count. Okay, so if we follow the example, and I do want to order two sets of these buckles, so 40 pieces, right? I'm going to go down to the comment section right here, and then I'm going to type sold and the number two. That's it. Okay, so when you successfully claim something, you're going to get a um, direct message from Mama Chula Designs, the business page. Okay, and it's going to tell you that you was that you were successful that you snagged one of these so if you click on the pay order then it's going to take you to your cart however if you're shopping um the posts then you're going to be able to keep those items in your cart until after the lives the live sales on friday evenings so you don't have to check out at this moment you can continue to shop the post throughout the week and then continue to add items to your cart um, during the live sale. And then on the weekend, you can check out um, all the items that you claimed during the week. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click pay order so you can see what the cart looks like. Okay, so it'll take me here. And if you remember earlier in the, in the claiming post, I said that I wanted two. So this has added automatically two items to my cart. Now, if by chance then there wasn't two available, then it would only add whatever was available at the time. So if I ordered five sets, but there was only two sets available, then two sets would be carted for me. And I can also use this drop down and, you know, change the quantities. Again, if let's go ahead and I'm going to click 10. Okay, there's not 10 available. So you'll see that it updated to five because there are in fact only five sets available in inventory. And if you wanted to go back to your original quantity for two, you can do that as well. And then you can also use this remove button if you wanted to remove it from your cart altogether. Okay, so that was for a post with just one item listed. So now let's look at a post with multiple options in the same post. So these are all shoe charms. 
um, and they're all coming in sets. So each picture is what you would get at a set for $7 in this instance, okay? Um, it is a set of 10 charms. So our comment to claim here is going to look a little bit different. Okay, we're going to have to comment with the word sold. And then if we wanted multiple quantities, after sold is where we would put our number. And then after that, we would need to choose one of these options for the picture that we are trying to order from. Okay, so if, for instance, I wanted to order one set of this Disney, I would come down to the comments. Okay, I would type sold and I would type Disney. Okay, that means I'm only getting one set. So if you only want one set, you don't have to put a number in between. If I wanted two sets, then instead I would say sold and let's say I wanted two of Hello Kitty. then I would comment that way. So if you wanted um, to choose different ones, then you would need to comment on each of those separately. Okay, so now in my messenger, I can see that I have two new messages. Okay, this first one here is for that first set of charms that I got, okay, the Disney set. And then here you'll see that there's two pictures. So that's the second set that I chose for the Hello Kitty. And we'll look at that now. So if I click through through pay order, it's gonna take me to my and now I can see that I have the two sets of buckles I previously had and then one set of the Disney charms and then only one set of the Hello Kitty. So even though I claim two, there's actually only one set in stock. So that's why it dropped me down to one. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please just leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. We should be ready to start posting items for sale by Tuesday this week. So happy shopping, everybody. Thanks.